I'm going to walk you through how to create a Pixlr digital painting. I've got my baby sitting here with me, so you might hear a little baby noise here in the background. Uh, but we're going to be using Pixlr. Pixlr is an online photo editor, and uh, it's just a good uh, program to use for this. This link is right here in your uh, slide toe, so you should be able to get to this page right here. First thing you're going to do is going to sign up for an account. That way your projects are just going to save down here and you won't lose stuff from day to day. So you're just going to press sign up and then press sign in with Google. You're going to choose your school account. And then I've already created an account so it goes to here. You'll have to just probably click one more thing. It's going to ask you if you want to receive like a promotion emails, that kind of stuff. So I would uncheck that just so you don't get spam email from them. So now we're here. What you're going to do is you're going to select images. And these are stock images. Stock images are images taken by professional photographers that they have uh, sold so that people can use them for things like this. We're going to be doing a landscape. A landscape is a picture of outside. So you can either type in landscape like this and you're going to see a whole bunch to choose from or if you know kind of a more specific type of landscape that you'd like to do like mountains then you can get more specific and you'll see a whole bunch there or if you want to do some kind of sunset as long as there's a picture of outside that's what we're going for okay so you'll scroll through, and once you get to the bottom, you can look more and more until you find one that you like. When you found the one that you like, you're just going to click on it like this, and it should select full HD. That's what we want. So you will press apply. Now we have our image here. This is our layers right here. Right now we have just one layer, and so we're going to add another layer. We're going to add another layer for each kind of section of our painting here because things overlap. So I would say we're going to do one layer for the sky and then I'm going to do another layer for this area here and then I would do another area for the ocean. But we're just going to start with this one layer here so I press that plus button. okay? And here is our tool that we're going to be using. It's called the draw tool but really it's a brush tool. okay? And right here you can see what your brush looks like. So right now I just have the color white selected. So I'm just going to do a little painting on here. That's what my brush looks like right now. You can see from my layers that this is all that I have on this layer. You can change the size of your brush. Like that. You can change the softness. That's kind of what the edge of your paintbrush looks like. So you can see that looks a little more like a spray paint can. A softer edge. You can have a really hard edge. If I have it go way down here. You can see how that looks different. You can also change the transparency, how see-through your paint is. We probably won't use that very much right now, but maybe toward the end when you're adding some finishing touches, that might come into play. So I wouldn't put your size much above 100 when you're doing anything. If you have smaller, more detailed areas, you're going to want a smaller brush. If you have bigger areas, you can obviously make that a little bit bigger. So let's bring this back up here. All right, if you ever have anything that you want to undo, there's an undo button right here. So I'm just going to undo all this. All right. Here's where you can change your colors, but we probably aren't going to be using any of these normal colors here. So what you're going to be doing is mostly going to be using this eyedropper tool. Okay? So you're just going to click on any color. It doesn't matter, but then you're going to press this eyedropper tool right here. Okay? I'm going to start up here with my sky. <coughs> Excuse me. When I press this eyedropper tool, you can see that where my cursor is, there's that big circle, and that's what color it is right there. So whatever color I want, I'm going to paint right here. I'm going to click right here. That way now my paintbrush is that color. Okay. So when I start painting on here, you can't really see it because I'm painting with that color. So I'm just holding down my mouse and dragging this around. Now I don't want you to just go, okay, that's the sky color. I'm going to paint the sky that color. That's not what I'm looking for. I want you to try to find all the different colors in the sky. So you're going to have to keep using your eyedropper tool. Let's bring that way down. 
in finding all these different colors in the sky. I'm just going to do a little bit across the top here because you don't need to watch me for 10 minutes do this. The more different color variances, different color changes that you can find, the better your painting is going to look at the end. A lot of times with sky, skies go horizontal side to side. So that's how I would paint. I wouldn't do a lot of painting up and down like this. Okay, grab this color here. And then it gets a little bit darker again along the edges. So grab this color here and I'll paint that. All right, so I just kind of did a stripe across the top here. Now, it's kind of hard to tell what you've painted and what you haven't. What you're going to do for that, again, look over here at my layers. I've got my photograph layer, and now I have my paint layer. I want to take this layer, I want to make this invisible right now. That way I can just see what I've painted. So this little box right here, if you click it, then it disappears. Now you can see my painting. Now you can see, oh wow, I thought I painted that whole thing, but I missed a lot of spots. So you'll just go back and I'm going to grab this color again. That way I can fill in these areas right here. And here. Now I'm going to use another tool in a little bit that's going to make this look a little bit more realistic. So don't worry too much if you're like, oh, that looks kind of blobby. As long as you're showing me some different colors, you're doing what I'm looking for. And we'll just fill in this one right here. Okay. So once you get a good chunk done, we're going to use another tool. We're going to go right here where it says liquify. And we're going to do this push tool. Okay, so that just kind of, it's almost like if you were to take your finger and wet paint and just kind of smush it over. That's what our push tool does. So if I take it right here and I drag it this way, you can see that's going to drag my paint over a little bit. And you can change how strong that is. We make it really strong. You can see it, woo, that goes really far. Or you can go a little bit down, maybe a little bit bigger. So we're just going to kind of push this around just to make our edges a little less blobby, a little more realistic. Okay, so I did that, and now what I would do is I would turn my photograph back on, and I would keep moving my way down onto the sky. When you get down here to the sky part, on mine specifically, I'm going to be doing a separate layer of these mountains and that kind of stuff. So if I were to paint right here, I don't need to paint around this mountain. I can paint over this mountain a little bit because my next layer is going to go on top of that and cover that up. Let me show you what it looks like with the sky all done. Here is my example with the sky all done. If I take away my photograph, you can see I've got my sky here. You can see all the different colors that I've used and then I've used that move tool a lot to kind of smush them back and forth. Make it look a little more realistic. Now I told you that we're going to start on the next layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my photograph back on, but I'm going to turn this layer off so that I don't see that anymore. I need to add another layer here, empty. This one is on top. If I turn this back on, now if I were to paint like this, that's going to go over that. I don't really want that, but... I'm going to turn this off so that I can see where my mountain is. And I'm just going to select one of these colors. That way I can get my eye dotter tool. Okay. Eye dropper. And now I can start painting this. Now this is a little bit more detailed. So I need to be a little bit carefuler. But that's pretty much all that color right there. I might even do another layer. There's kind of this lighter mountain and then there's a darker, more defined one in the front. So I might just do that for my one layer. Let's take everything off so I can see. Okay, need to get that filled in. Now I'm going to do another layer of that darker mountain. If you ever want to zoom in, you can zoom in right here and select that zoom in. You can move this box right here so that you're in, zooming in in the right spot. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this layer. This layer is going to be my darker hill area. So I'm going to draw. Get my eyedropper tool. This is pretty dark. This is more detailed, so I'm going to make it smaller. 
and now I'm going to go and I would do all of this detail stuff. Probably what I would do is kind of outline it and then you can come in with a bigger one and fill it in below. But you get the idea of what we're doing here. Okay, let's pretend they're all done. You can see everything here. Take that off. Obviously, I'm not all done. But when you are all done, you can press save, and that will save it to your uh, computer. And then what I want you to do is upload that and save it onto Google Classroom. All right, let me know if you have any questions.